hey guys i'm back with another video and today it's a diy day it's sun diy and we are doing some art today so if you guys did not know and if you have not been following my blog i do a lot of different stuff it's so hard just to maintain one thing but today we're gonna focus on art and i will show you how to do a pretty easy mini art piece today for this video you're gonna need paint, scissors, paint brushes, and tape. Hey guys, so today we are going to be making this lovely painting right here. It's pretty simple. It takes about two minutes, five minutes really. So you're going to need a blank canvas. You're going to need your tape because you are going to tape off your canvas into four sections. Now already it felt like I had a frog in my throat. But you're taping off your canvas. So you're using this as you, you cut the tape and you tape off your canvas into four sections. You can choose to put the colors wherever you would like to. I just started with the purple color at the top. And we are using a paint palette, basically just to mix the paint. And we are also using the primary colors. So you have blue, yellow, and you have red. These are gonna allow you to get all the colors that you need. So next it's time to start mixing the colors and I'm going to start with the purple. So of course you know primary colors can make just about all the colors. So I'm using the blue and the red first. And I actually switched it to kind of rose red because the original red that I used was kind of like a crimson red which was more on the orange color. So just like a nice regular red, rosy red and blue. So when you're painting you also need a cup of water because you want to make sure you can clean your brush and you need a piece of tissue to wipe your clean brush on or sometimes we give a sponge but I rather a tissue. So here we have a nice shade of purple and it's a nice not too dark not too light and I use the blue and the red to make that purple that shade. So next up I'm going to start mixing the colors so that I can get an orange over to the side. And I know before I did say that there's a crimson red that kind of looks like the orange. But I wanted to make the orange with the primary colors. I feel like it's a more, I don't know, more defined, a more natural look. So I mixed it together to get that nice orange for the next section. Also, if I forgot to say, please make sure you cover your workspace first. You want to make sure you put some paper down. So I did put some paper down because you're going to get messy and your space is going to get messy. And this little space that I worked in, it could have got a lot worse if I didn't cover it down. Also, acrylic paint starts to dry very quickly. You could also use tempura paint. There are a lot of different types of paint. I just really like the acrylic because it dries pretty quickly so you have to make sure you're working at a good pace to make sure that the colors don't start to dry on you. And of course you're going to be painting over the tape. The tape is there to create a negative space and that's the whole look of this, of this little picture. You want to have that negative space. So you're trying not to paint into the next section, but you can also paint onto that paint, the tape. 
next up we're gonna start painting the blue and blue is just regular blue so I don't have to do any mixing for this and I like it I don't want to put I don't want to make it a light blue I just like the the dark colors you can make them pastel colors if you want but I just wanted my blue to be a dark blue for this section also I'm painting out of order because I started with purple I should have started with the blue and then like gradually worked my way to lighter colors but I was all over the place and it, it basically turned out the way I, I like it the way that I wanted it to look so you can do it the way that's best for you <laughs> I love to do these art pieces because I feel that they're just very relaxing and there's so much you can do with it so art it's all about how you see it how you want it to be it doesn't have to look exactly like mine you make it how you want it to look and now I'm going for the green so you mix a little bit of blue and yellow actually there's a lot more yellow in here and a little bit of blue to get this green color that you see And I'm just brushing and sweeping motions from left to right. You can decide to use the paintbrush to dab it. You can decide to use the paintbrush in circular motions, however you want it to be. I just did it in a nice smooth um, left to right motion to get this art. All right, and don't mind that it keeps falling, but now we're gonna start doing the Jackson Pollock inspired part. So I'm using some black paint and I'm mixing it with a lot of water so that the, the paint itself becomes kind of like kind of liquidy so that I can just splatter the paint onto the canvas. And this is that extra messy part that I was talking about because once you start splattering the paint it's going to go everywhere places that you did not expect it to go. So you just splatter the paint onto the canvas and you're still remembering that the tape is there so you're still going to have that negative space. Don't take off the tape yet. And because the acrylic paint dries so fast after I painted the four colors, I took about maybe 10 minutes to let it dry. And then I started to put the black paint, splatter the black paint over it. So now you can start removing the tape. And if like me, you did not cover the tape or like really press it on, then you might have a little bit of the black dripping down. This is when you get some white paint and you just clean it up it's pretty easy to clean up because white covers just about everything just use about maybe two coats and it's going to be perfect Alrighty guys, and that's about it for the first ever episode of Sun DIYs, where every Sunday I am going to be doing a different DIY. It's not always going to be painting because there's so much DIYs to do. Actually, stay tuned for next week's DIY where we're going to do resin earrings. They're pretty cute. Uh, keep watching to the end of the video and I'll show you a sneak peek of those earrings. And if you did not sign up for the giveaway I, I believe the giveaway should be starting on the 14th i don't know double check read the blog the dates are on there but it's giveaway time it's pre-birthday giveaway time so make sure you are checking out my blog checking out my videos to find out when the giveaway is So I'm just cleaning it up to make sure that it looks good and I was actually inspired to do this from an activity we did at a workshop training for you know educators and on the right hand side you can see how it looked but this is the final result nice and clean and you know really really simple 
so guys don't forget next week this is our DIY resin earrings so stay tuned and if you haven't already don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my blog www.baddishandbrainy.com don't forget to subscribe follow me on twitter follow me on instagram follow me on wherever you see me follow me and that's it